Machine allows you to record internal or external audio signals. This is useful if you want to record your own samples. We'll start by sampling a loop from a record. Choose an empty sound slot to record into by selecting the appropriate pad. Now hit the Sampling button to enter Sampling Mode. You can choose the source by using Knob 1. It's either set to External for audio signals connected to your audio interface, or Internal for audio signals generated by machine itself. We're sampling a record, so I'll leave it on External. You can then choose which hardware input to use. I have a stereo source, so I'll choose both the left and right inputs of my audio interface. For convenience, you can then set a threshold that, when crossed, will cause machine to automatically start recording. This ensures your sample will be tightly cut with no gap of silence at the beginning. Press the Start button at the top when you're ready to begin. Now I'll play the record. And then I'll press stop. I now have a sampled sound on this pad. Now you might want the loop to hold after you trigger the pad. So I'll leave sampling mode and make some adjustments to the envelope. Alternatively, you could also use Sustain mode to have it hold for as long as the pad is pressed. Great, now let's edit the recorded loop. While in sampling mode, with button 2 you can reach the Edit tab to edit the recorded sample. I can change the start and end point of the sample with knobs 1 and 2. To get the sample to loop, enable Loop Mode by pressing the right page button to navigate to the second page, and then turn knob 1 to enable the loop. The start and end point of a loop can be adjusted using knobs 2 and 3.